Hello, my name is Wendy Widger, and today I'll be doing a book review on Goodnight Owl. This book is a 2017 Giselle Honor book. The author illustrator is Greg Pizzoli, and the publisher is Disney Hyperion. The copyright is 2016. It's a picture story book that's 38 pages long and appropriate for children ages 3 through 7. I thought this book was a lot of fun. And I'm just going to start through and show you some pictures by way of explaining. Um, in the first page, we see Owl is getting ready for bed. He's just ready for bed, and he hears a noise, and he starts to look around for it. The fun thing about this book is Owl doesn't see the source of the noise, but immediately we as the audience see the little mouse. Every time... He looks for the source of the noise, he can't find it, and he just gets about ready to go back to bed, and then he hears it again. And you can see he thinks it's in the cupboard, so he takes everything off. He just keeps getting more frustrated. I love this picture because you can see his feathers flying up in exasperation as he's getting more and more frustrated. The mouse will squeak just when he's ready to go to sleep. Here you see a big cloud of dust. He tears up the floorboards. He takes down the roof and the walls because he just cannot find the source of that noise until he is out under the stars because his house is completely destroyed. And then he finally sees the mouse and the mouse curls up on his bed and they go to sleep together. This is such a fun book. Um, just the ridiculousness of the fact that Owl would go to such great lengths to try to find that noise. Um, the personal reflection that I had uh, was I actually had an experience similar to this when I was in middle school. I had a cricket in my room when I was trying to go to sleep and I got up several times trying to find it under the dresser and in the dresser by pulling drawers out. Every time I would turn the light on, it would stop chirping. Then when I couldn't find it, turned the light off, went back to bed, it would start again. I finally ended up sleeping on the couch that night because I was very frustrated and it wasn't funny to me. Looking back on it, it's funny now. I thought this would be a great opportunity after reading this book as a class for both uh, retelling and reinventing the story with the kids as partners, uh, making some little puppets on craft sticks and um, cutting out strips of paper that had the different um, sequences of the story out of order, of course, the kids would put those back in order, and then um, re retelling it by inserting some other things that Owl might have done, or telling their own story about something frustrating and either really silly off the wall things that they could have possibly done or maybe things that are more realistic that they would do or that they have done in the past. I really enjoyed this book. Um, it's a lot of fun. Good night, Owl.